Hello, we want to continue our lecture about functions and in our previous lecture we showed you how to uh, create a function that neither returned a type nor had parameters passed into it. And what we're going to do now is we're going to show you a function that that returns a value. It's a very very simple function It really doesn't anything useful. It just shows the format of uh, the return itself. So we're going to say uh, int, and we're going to say return x is all we're going to do. This is the uh, prototype of the function right here. We always put that above the int main void. Actually, it goes right above it. That's where we put most of our functions. And we put the actual function itself down here. It has to match it exactly. Okay, and this is the header of the function itself. We'll put our two brackets right there. And the, the uh, function is going to re do nothing other than just return a number. Maybe we'll print something out too. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just say uh, C out. Uh, we are in return x. And now, and then we're going to say uh, return uh, 100. Okay, now let me, before I forget about it, let me go up here and put my using namespace standard so I can do that. Very good. So here is our prototype up here. Here is the actual function itself. The first line is the header. We can tell the difference between the header and the prototype. The prototype has a semicolon behind it. Now let's go uh, just call it. Okay, now to call it, I have to use it someplace where an integer is going to be used because it's returning an integer type. I can put it in a play. I can call it by itself, but it would be of no use. Uh, because it's returning a type to make use of it, we have to put it someplace where an integer is going to be used. So uh, that can be used in a uh, logical expression or a, an arithmetic expression, or we can use it in a CIAT or both. So I'll use it in both. CIAT. All right, so, so we'll say C out, and we'll say 100 uh, plus X is, okay, and then we'll go over here and we'll say, okay, 100 plus, now I'm going to call the function, return X. Okay, now it knows it's a function because uh, it has the name and it has the parentheses where the parameters will go. That's how it knows that it's a function, so, okay, in down. All right, let's save this. Syntax looks okay. Let's build it. Build looks good. And let's start without debugging. Ta-da! We are in return X and 100 plus X is 200. Press any key to return. All right, very good. So this is an example of a function that returns a type. Let me point something out. When you have something other than void in front, that the thing in front is usually some type of type, integer, double, character, boolean, uh, float. It's some type of type. When you have that, the function must have a return statement and it must return a value that matches that type. So 100 right here is an integer and they must match. Now let's say that I did this. I say I did 100.0. Okay. Let me save it. Let me just save it just to show you. Okay. It, it uh, looks okay. Let me build it. Build solution. It succeeded without debugging and it looks like it worked okay it did that is because before it returned that value it converted that 100 to an integer now if I were to do this you spell hello right all right you see that little squiggly line that says hey wait a minute that's that's not a number type I can't convert it so it's not gonna let me do that so it must match the type very important all right, well, this is a lesson on uh, one of the functions that returns a type. Uh, we'll go on next to one that both pass in a parameter and one that returns a type.